Hello everyone and welcome to the last campfire. Uh, we have a choice between normal and explore mode. In explore mode you don't have to do all the various puzzles. There's a total of 25 of them and in normal mode you do need to go through them. Uh, this is the prologue and I'm showing it to you so you can get a feel for the game, a sense what it's all about without giving away too much of the story or the background. It is quite mysterious in many ways. Here we see our little protagonist, simply called Ember in the red cloak, um, paddling along together with others. It's not clear yet where they're going, but slowly this will unfold. A little blue bird it reminds me oddly of the Twitter bird. It's the final goodbye from this world for Ember as they sail into the unknown. There is a place where the lost embers go. As their light begins to fade, Ember stood still, unable to face what was to come. And this is the beginning of Ember's strange journey. A journey filled with magical moments and lovely puzzles. The painting showed Ember's on a sacred journey. You can see clearly all the embers arriving from the left, going into a gigantic maze filled with puzzles, and to the right is their destination, the final, the last campfire. Ember felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. felt heavy, and the, the statue shone brightly in the light. From here on, the game introduces you slowly, gently, to the building blocks of the puzzles, the elements being used, the patterns formed. You're not being pushed straight into the cold water. It's a very gentle gradient what i would call very very user friendly and also a beginner friendly for those who maybe haven't played this type of puzzle before there was a round space where something used to fit Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. 
this is the first a very very simple puzzle uh, preparing you for uh, the types of puzzles that uh, will be coming later much much more complex I just love the sounds in this game. They're brilliant. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. About the um, narrative voiceover, I think it's an interesting choice and having a very young woman's voice uh, lends a softness that matches the game perfectly in my opinion. Ember felt like they were being watched. We are now coming up to the first flame that is an opening into one of the puzzles, the first puzzle. As Ember approached the flame. And because I chose normal mode, we are being segued instantly into the puzzle and need to complete it. With a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. Uh, here we are being introduced to one of the important elements, um, the statues you can uh, move about and put onto pressure plates um, so that movement and a change of the environment takes place. The caged flame stoked new hope in Ember. was almost within reach. I hope you'll agree um, that this first introductory puzzle is really ideal. It's short and straightforward. The flame spoke and Ember listened. The flame lingered ahead. And this now is the approach to our first really important hub point. Uh, the whole game being structured around these campfires. And we are now finding our first one. Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warn them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers.
This is a place between places, to travel through as your light fades. But none have passed on in a long time. The Forest King now holds us here, and those who linger will turn forlorn. Again, that word, forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. Uh, the Forest King plays a crucial role in this game. Ember was terrified but tried not to show it. The giant... Step backwards, little Ember. Look behind. Upon a small grassy cliff rests a forlorn. And this is now where the world opens up. This is the first area, the forest, and you can see openings on three sides. So there is quite a bit to explore. But to finish off, I just wanted to show you one of the early puzzles called Building Bridges uh, to give you a bit more of an impression of how the puzzles slowly evolve and grow in size. Uh, you can see the spatial layout of the puzzle quite well, right from the start. Uh, you need to complete a sort of four-cornered circle around the centerpiece. And here's a new contraption you're being introduced to that crops up a lot. Uh, the lever you can push to move um, objects about. So now we can uh, go to collect the first uh, statue we need for putting on one set of pressure plates. And now you see the ingenious mechanism uh, that keeps the two bottom controllers uh, from moving so we can move the others independently. And clearly we need a second statue to manipulate uh, the others because of the way they are aligned. Uh, so we'll now uh, collect uh, the second one. And now we can finally make the complete round trip. And that is building bridges completed. And another nice feature is that you have three safe slots, so you can experiment a bit with the different modes if you want. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the brief little taster overview I've given you. There's so much more I could say about this game. It's the type of game you constantly want to share with a friend, uh, a wonderful cutscene, a magical moment in a puzzle. It's hard to stop talking about it. In closing, I just want to mention that if you choose to go the explore route, which means you can opt to do or not do the puzzles, you will find that the level design for all the tasks you need to complete in each area, and believe me, there are a lot, and there is a lot to discover, whether it's caves or forlorns or little journal scraps as collectibles, as plenty to do. The level design is so transparent and clear-cut that it will lead you intuitively um, through the puzzles, where because each area contains its own overall puzzle as well, um, and on to the next area. So I can't really praise the game highly enough. I hope you get a chance to play it. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye-bye.